Be prepared guys, this is a true story. Be me. I have cute girlfriend. I really have one. She's a diagnosed autist. She's always amazed by me being able to give her the perfect gift every time she has a birthday slash it's Christmas. Truth is, it's so effing easy to question her what she wants and she doesn't realize that I'm doing it. She's absolutely not able to read my intentions when questioning because autism. One or two weeks before birthday, I'm literally asking stuff like are there any new books slash games you'd like to have? Or you told me about Blank, you've liked so much, can you show me where you've seen it? It's so easy to make her happy, I love her. Be recruiter for mid-sized company. I have to review applicants' resumes whenever we have an opening. Company has an opening for an entry-level software developer position. This type of position always seems to bring in the absolute worst resumes for some reason. One guy's resume has the entire job history portion empty, except for listing his current job as cryptocurrency trading expert, self-employed. One guy who dropped out of high school and whose sole job experience is two months for Burger King in 2019 wrote proficient internet user in the skills and qualifications section. One guy's job history is filled with nothing but Discord servers he moderated. He listed each one individually as if they were separate jobs. Some old guy with a decade of experience as a welder says he is qualified software developer because he knows a thing or two about computers. One guy listed his 3700 hours in Team Fortress 2 as a certification. There was a resume that was only a single line of text that said I am a good person. One resume was just a printed out picture of Patrick Bateman. Not gonna lie, I would hire the last guy. Be me. Late at night, parents sleeping. Decide to take mushrooms for the first time. For a while, everything goes okay. Start imagining there are a ton of bugs in my room. Freak out. They follow me everywhere I go. Decide to go out since that's where bugs belong. They follow me there too, which is what I wanted. I start rolling around outside in the grass. Feels good, man. Sit up against the fence and stare at the stars. I'm so effing out of it. Suddenly I hear someone talking to me. Not sure where it's coming from. Voice keeps telling me to respond. I don't because I'm scared. It says if I don't respond, it's going to kill my parents. I freak out more and turn around. It's the effing fence post. It keeps talking to me. Respond to this post or your mother dies in her sleep tonight. Be me. Working in a new company since a bit more than six months. There's a really nice female colleague, a walking red flag with mood swings and all. We hang out because she's fun and we get along great. Both of us are the sarcastic type, so we mess with each other quite a lot. The jokes escalate week after week, eventually start reaching the point of mildly dirty jokes and fake flirting. The I know you love me, you wish type. Feeling uncomfortable at first, but she keeps making this joke, so I get used to it and do the same. Now at this point I'm obviously starting to think she's serious. One day as we're talking about dating apps, I steer the conversation to clarify the situation. She reassures me saying, we're not like this. Ok, cool dot jpeg. Fake flirting continues nonetheless. Both of us doubling down each time. Gets to the point where she's saying things like, her, my period hurts. Me, what am I supposed to do about it? Her, get me pregnant. It's really fun to talk with her and all, but given how unstable she is, I'm really starting to be afraid for my job. If she gets a mood swing and goes to HR, my career is over. She's the one starting at least half of it, but nobody would listen if I got accused. WTF am I supposed to do? Women are crazy. Be me. Go out with Tinder girl on three day camping trip, never met before. She's fine when we meet up. No showers at campground. Day 1, no issues. Plow her Badusi all night. Day 2, no issues. Go to plow Badusi again and I'm hit by the worst stomach churning stench. Entire tent is gassed with the smell. Almost die. Tell her to go to the river and wash herself. She cries. End up packing everything up and leaving at 3 am to drive home together for 2 hours. Incredibly awkward. I will never go out with a femoid ever again. What kind of creature just smells like that after a single night of not bathing? I don't even smell that bad after a week of physical exertion and no showers. Be me. 
Coffee enthusiast. Wake up at a friend's place because he let me stay for a few days. Offers me coffee. I accept it. First mistake I notice is that, that Top Gear is playing in the living room as he grabs the coffee. As we all know, playing loud noises such as car engines around coffee beans might throw off the chakra of the coffee beans and subsequent taste. But hey, it's a rookie mistake I commit sometimes. He prefers to buy whole beans and grind them himself. Thank God. He immediately pours the beans into a grinder instead of putting them through a Glubitron 2800 series. No excuse for this one, it's a rather low-end model only starting at $58,000. It's a hand-powered grinder and his mistakes continue when he grinds at a somewhat constant speed of 30 RPM instead of 31.2 RPM, which will ruin the consistency of the coffee grounds. As he finishes grounding the coffee, he pulls out a Bialetti mocha pot. I can immediately tell it was made on September 3rd, 2017. 17, the date of the first North Korean nuclear test, which might have affected the forgery process of the metals involved and negatively affected the harmonic ionization, cathiglution molecules of the coffee. Final straw is broken when I notice his gas stove. His gas provider is PG&E, which provide a gas that provides a BTU of 0.00087 smaller than what is required to brew the perfect pot of coffee, which is why I'm Southern California Edison fanboy. Pull out my gun and shoot my silly troglodyte of a friend for even fathoming serving me this steaming hot cup of coffee. He dies instantly. Be me, 30 year old kissless hugless virgin wizard, back and shoulders day at the gym, working out with a much younger coworker, 22, who asked for my help to get in shape. Coworker offers lunch at his house after we get done. I take him up on it. When we get there, he introduces me to his wife, very pleasant young woman. She makes a lunch for us. Coworker asks me to stay to watch football. I agree to. His wife asks how things are going at the gym. She thanks me for helping him out. Realize that this is the first positive thing a woman has said to me in a long time. During the game, Coworker sits on the floor in front of his wife who sits on the couch and massages his shoulders. Coworker notices me staring. I say, it must be nice to have a free masseuse. They laugh and she says, come here, your turn. I try to say no, but neither of them will have any of that and the coworker practically drags me over to sit on the floor in front of his wife. She begins to rub my shoulders and I'm not exaggerating when I tell you it was the most pleasurable physical experience I have ever felt. This is the first time that a woman has touched me with gentleness. Struck by an intense wave of depression as I realize that my younger coworker has figured out how to convince a woman to touch him gently at 22, while I am effing 30 years old and still cannot even figure out how to get a woman to get on a date with me. My coworker has figured out how to not be a lonely man at 22 and I am a 30 year old man who has never even kissed a girl. Actually start crying and stand up to leave. Both of them ask me what is wrong and try to keep me from leaving. I just keep saying I am sorry and run out to my car. Feel deep shame as I watch them stare at me sobbing in my car as I back out of their driveway and speed off. Coworker texts me asking me to call him when I can. I hate myself so much. I cannot stand it. I bore witness to a life literally a hundred times better than my own and it broke me. Make a thread about CIA during EU hours. Mention CIA. American flags quickly start replying, even though they should be asleep and downplaying whatever was said. Thread derails. This is just a coincidence, right? I wouldn't worry about it. Nah, that sounds pretty normal. Don't think too hard about it. Maybe you should be asleep. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!